Newland Pictures presents Eco Adventure. Welcome to another edition of Eco Adventure. Welcome to an incredible Eco Adventure in the Colombian coffee country. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> well, I must be in the right place. <laughs> anyway, I'm Ana Maria Bontero, and we're going to explore not only where this coffee comes from, but did it ever occur to you that you could actually spend your vacation inside a coffee field? Well, we're going to show you that you can, and much more. In this edition of Eco Adventure, we visit Colombia's heartland home of the fertile hills responsible for the finest coffee in the world. Join us as we find eco-friendly hotels amidst fair trade organic coffee fields. This and much more in this edition of Eco Adventure. In the vast mountains of the Colombian Andes, under the ample sun and fertile ground, grows the best coffee in the world. More than 500,000 families in Colombia make their living cultivating and producing the best possible coffee bean. Each day, millions of cups of coffee are sold around the world, each carrying the unmistakable aroma and flavor of this region. This is a result of exceptional biodiversity and the perfect environmental conditions for the cultivation of the bean. Approximately three million lucky souls get to live here day in and day out amongst this endless sea of green. This region is known as the Coffee Axis. Situated in central Colombia, this is where the majority of the country's coffee is grown. Next, we'll be traveling to the Colombian coffee fields, where we'll find out how this organic, fair trade coffee bean turns into the best cup of coffee the world has to offer. These beautiful and exuberant fields of coffee require altitudes of between 4,000 and 6,000 feet above sea level, and temperatures between 68 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Conditions that Colombia's coffee access experiences nearly year-round. Fair trade farmers tend to their fields applying the knowledge of more than 100 years of Colombian coffee agriculture, while strictly adhering to organic standards. They constantly strive to perfect this process to bring you the quality of coffee you expect from this region. Once each farmer fills their canvas bags with ripe beans, they are weighed and registered as organic. Soon after, it is transported to the processing plant, where it is washed, peeled, and dried. The jeeps used to move the coffee were originally used in the Second World War and are going on more than 40 years of service. Their rugged construction has made them perfect for trekking Colombia's mountainous terrain. So the next time you have a cup of Colombian coffee, you'll know the elaborate process it took to bring this to you. Shall we? <laughs> Every year this vast region produces approximately 12 million sacks of coffee for global export. When we come back, we'll explore the essence of this tasty Colombian tradition. Next, we explore accommodations right in the midst of the Colombian organic coffee fields when Eco Adventure returns. You are watching Eco Adventure. As recently as 15 years ago, this region underwent a notable change. Taking advantage of its unique architecture and landscape of treasured fields, the coffee growers opened their land to explore a new field tourism. The farmers adapted their land to receive thousands of tourists who can enjoy the beauty of their surroundings and bear witness to the process that brings coffee to their homes. The eco-friendly accommodations enjoy small footprints on their environment and coexist easily within the very farms that house them. Leisurely activities include enjoyment of a large pool and jacuzzis fed by underground hot springs. So if you uh, happen to be an email freak like me, how's this for a business center? <laughs> it's unbelievable! Accommodations are simple, charming and clean. The restaurants within the property allow you to savor typical local dishes and, of course, the obligatory cup of coffee. In this beautiful region, nature provides both the rich fields and the ample beauty of its surroundings. After the break, discover high-flying adventures in the midst of the Colombian coffee country. You are watching Eco Adventure. 
The adventures in this region actually go above and beyond the coffee fields themselves, something I experienced firsthand. For the adrenaline junkie, the region boasts the longest fly line in South America. With nearly 1.2 miles of line, the canopy allows you an unparalleled bird's eye view of the entire region. Expert handlers prep you for your flight to maximize your exhilaration and safety. <laughs> this non-invasive sport rates a 9 on our eco scale and a 10 on our adrenaline scale. And for a more leisurely trek, there is a trip through the coffee country on horseback. You will travel through stunningly beautiful countryside in peace and serenity. However, this trek has a twist. This may seem like your typical afternoon horseback ride through the Colombian coffee country, but if you listen carefully, you'll hear a big difference. This is actually a musical caravan, all courtesy of our DJ donkey, Canela. <laughs> so in fact, ladies and gentlemen, this is Disco Donkey. Por el camino del sitio mío, un carretero alegre pasó. And that brings us to the end of this eco-adventure. Thank you so much for joining us. In the coming weeks, we'll be traveling the world over in search of beautiful destinations for the eco-conscious traveler. But before we go, here's a preview of upcoming eco-adventures. In the continuing travels of eco-adventure, we visit the Ivory Coast of Africa. Its people, while steeped in traditional mythology, welcome curious travelers from all over the world. With modest accommodations surrounded by breathtaking views, this sanctuary, where a community sought shelter and safety from the strife of the region, now enjoys a freedom to honor the traditions of their ancestors. This is Sassandra in Africa's Ivory Coast. And in a very special eco-adventure, we travel to the Tangra jungle mountains of Bolivia, where one of the last unspoiled races of ancient peoples live. This timeless land and its indigenous people offer us an encouraging model of coexistence, where nature and humanity live together. 19,000 feet above sea level, these descendants of the ancient Tyrona embrace visitors as sentries who will teach the world how to coexist with Mother Nature. We will also learn how to help protect this paradise on Earth. With this program, we uncover a world worth exploring and moreover, a world worth preserving. To learn more about all of our adventures, visit us at ecoadventure.com. I'm Ana Maria Montero, and these are the continuing travels of Eco Adventure.